go. Was happy to keep helping. He felt um. it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Oh, did I just fuck it up? Uh oh. Come on, wait. I'd have a problem. Whoa, that was cool. I didn't even intend to do that. I like juggle them. Is that a thing I can do? Nope, wrong one. I can kind of. No, I can't. Ah, oh, I made it. Alright. I was gonna have to restart. God, this guy's slow. Come on, bro. red guy to get up on top of here. Jump that? Oh, I can. Uh. I think this is how you're supposed to do it. This is how I'm doing it. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it, game. Can't tell me what to do. supposed to do. Yeah, okay. Alright. I was actually supposed to figure out that jumping puzzle, but I mean, I like my way better. I need a little pudge to do this. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one? Thomas had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Cynicism and tutting amused John. I need all of them this time. a thing. One. If I can get the thing. Oh, I missed the thing. Hold on. I jump. Jump from here? I gotta go bonk my head off of that. Come down here. Yeah, I got the short one. All set. Yeah, I got the thing. Ah, achievement! Haha! <laughs> Apparently there's only like two of these in each chapter? 
down. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Whoa. This group possessed simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable. The error spread, these variations became increasingly extreme. Whoa! This was how Claire would die. Oh. She knew it would happen eventually. Um She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Um. Hey. What? Oh. Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. <laughs> it was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. This is getting increasingly more complicated. She'd need a oh, cape. we lost two of them. There was no getting around that. You. Couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. Oh, you can just do that, dear. Oh, I see. Be a platform. Oh. There we go. All right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Indeed. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. <laughs> it's raining. Claire arrived just in time, which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Oh, boss. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the oh, I'm dumb. moment for superheroes. Yeah, that was pretty dumb of me. We'll go over here first so I can't die when I try that. Genius. What did that do? Oh, she can come up now. Oh, God. Oh, God, the water's rising. All right, all right. We're good, we're good. Thank. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, there's a thing. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good save. Oh. The hell am I supposed to... Oh, I'm, I probably have to jump with Thomas. I see. If you'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. 
<laughs> Convenient indeed. Oh, I'm missing Thomas now. At this little a hole square. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Got all four of them now. Probably needed a nemesis, a villain who would show their true colors at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. <laughs> he seemed stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. No, 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 no! Don't, Chris. don't do that. Chris, diabolical Chris, the fiendish Christopher. Ironically, who we're trying to save right now. Alright, get off of me. Punchy little twat. Wait, what did, so what did that do? Oh, okay, we're good. Claire's downfall? Claire was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. Everyone with me. Moving platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. Indeed. Let's probably just jump it. Just whatever, bro. Been waiting for no platforms. John doesn't give a shit. This might kill them. I'm gonna go ahead and not do that. They would yeah, that probably would have killed really them. Well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Ooh. 